Hey there, hi there, hello there, William here for the New American Standard 2020 Giant Print Edition. This is the second major update from the New American Standard from 1971, which when it first came out by the Lockman Foundation, then 1995 edition, and now you got the 2020 edition. Of course, there's been several other updates, but it's been little updates. So let's take a look at this. Let's start with the clamshell box that have come in. Come in a really nice, good clamshell. Here's the ISBN number. It says Giant Print. Really nice box, good hard box. Now we got, uh, it says it features the Comfort Print Giant Print type. Line match type setting, two column text, paragraph formatting, words of Christ in red. In the front, you have your presentation pages. In the back, you have your topical index. You have your introductions and color maps. Now, this edition is Black Genuine Leather. I'm going to set this off. Let's take a look at the Bible. You see it's really an, a nice leather. It's not as nice as the L put. Fake hubs along the side but you can see that comfort print which is a, a really nice sans serif and let's take a look at the inside look at the line of the tabs they're a little bit hard it won't stay open right there because of these tabs along here but watch this here's your presentation pages now i'm going to open this up just a little bit Now watch, and it stays open, kind of, it's starting to close. <laughs> Let's see if I can get some more pages on top. There you go. Now it's staying open. So as you can see, it's not, the tabs aren't so tight that it won't stay open when you have the Bible open. <clears throat> And when we get into this, you'll want to read the, your forwards. Your forward from the Lockman Foundation about the 2020 version, which has the principles of, trend, of the translation, the gender accuracy. This is where they take out words or change the words from brethren to brothers and sisters. And they use the plural as men as well as the pluralistic of the ish in similar words, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I've read across a couple of this while I'm in my reading plan. And my mind always goes back to putting brethren back in. So it is what it is. I really don't care for it, but as far as readability of the Bible, it's really good. I really like how easy it is. And they say this is 11th grade uh, reading, which I can't believe that. I mean, 11th grade reading. In the sixth grade, I was reading the King James Version and understanding every bit of it. <clears throat> so, like, now it came, to, came about the 601st year in the first month of the first month that the water was dried up. From the earth, then Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and beheld, behold, the surface of the ground had dried up. See what I mean? I always go back to the King James because that's what I'm used to. And you'll also notice, I wanted to take a look. Let me go back here to the first page, a thinner page. So we're in Genesis chapter 8, and the floods subside. Now look, there's very little ghosting on the pages, and there's no blue you don't see no hardly any blue except for right here in the in the shadowy part. So blue on the pages, hmm, nope. And it's not in the gutter. And it doesn't go in the gutter at the bottom. They keep it pretty flush, about three quarters to an inch. I'd say about an inch right there from the end, which is really good because the NLT by by Tyndall actually goes all the way down to the bottom. And I really don't like care for that either. Now, as you can see, different reading plans. I want to go back here 
to the back to the concordance. This is more of a word study concordance for me. I mean, I guess you can call it a good concordance. It's a, you can see the adultery, access, acclamation. <clears throat> they don't do, I mean, it's not a major concordance, but it's pretty good. I mean, my King James has a, has more of a concordance, probably in an extra 50 pages. This is probably about a hundred page concordance. Another thing that I do not care for, and, I, and it's in my King James Version that I read all the time, is the uh, introductions to the books of the Bible are back here in the back instead of on the pages. I like it better when they're at the beginning of the chapters than back here, and they're not very long. So they really could have put them right there on the on, at the beginning of the books, as far as an introduction goes. Now let's <clears throat> begin my voice. I have a little bit of a cold. Let's go into the maps. The maps are pretty nice. They're shiny cardstock pages. This is not uh, this is annotated and not uh, indexed. By any means but as you can see the maps are pretty nice I've seen worse now I will tell you this particular giant print I think this is the only one they have in leather in the genuine leather and it is not Smith's song it's a glue down all the way down and then while I'm thinking about it I'll show you my reading plan which I already have on my blog post now every let's see if I can show it to you better I have one two three one two three four five six I have six ribbons I've added four two original Actually, this one, when I opened it up, this first red is the original. They put the red in the Old Testament and the black in the New Testament. doesn't matter. I added some more. And uh, each ribbon, for my reading plan, I read two chapters for each ribbon. That equals 2 times 6 is 12. That's 12 chapters a day. About an hour, hour, 30 minutes, depending on how long the book is which makes it a good simplified reading plan. I read systematically from the Old Testament to the New Testament. And uh, this is actually an aggressive reading plan. So if you plan on doing something like this and you want to read through the Bible in, in a year, a couple times in the New Testament. So the Old Testament, by the way I read, I'll read this, read the Old Testament once in a year the New Testament four times a year and that's my reading plan it's been my reading plan for a long time I skip all the other reading plans because they have you everywhere in the Bible this has you everywhere in the Bible but you're systematic so now you're remembering things that are in each book of the Bible so I start with the Torah which is the first five books of the Bible then I go to the histories which is first Samuel I believe all the way up to Esther, then into the Psalms, or the poetry books, and I'll read through those. Then you have the, the last black one for the Old Testament is the prophets. I throw in the major and minor prophets all together. And then the last two, which is the Gospels, which I go from Matthew to Acts, and then to the epistles to Revelation. It's pretty simple. Then you get through the Old Testament once a year, and you get through the New Testament four times a year. So that's my review of this Bible. And if you want to read the more extensive review that's on my blog, I've written it out. It's at blog. It's at sunsigns.blogspot.com. I'll leave a link in the bottom. Thank you for watching. Bye.